All right, hope everyone's had a wonderful day. Today what I got in store is something pretty cool, an older pack of Magic the Gathering. This is a Legion's Booster Pack. And if you can tell, if you haven't by now, this is actually a Spanish Legion's Booster Pack. I was browsing late at night on eBay for older booster packs and I decided I was gonna pick up a couple and they were selling a Legion's Booster Pack uh, for buy it now price of like $10 and or best offer. And I go ahead and I sent them a best offer of $3, they accepted it. And to my surprise, uh, I got it. But I didn't realize it was a Spanish booster pack at the time. But then again, it is my fault for not really checking the image correctly. I just kind of said, oh, Legion's Booster Pack, cool. But I didn't really read what it says. So make sure you know what you are getting before you buy it. But anyways, just a $3 pack. I'm really excited I got it. Let's open it up and see what it's about. Magic El Encuentro Experto. Uh, expert level pack. Back in the day they used to have like advanced expert and I'm not sure. There was like different levels to packs which was interesting and they kind of stopped that. And this is a Legion's Booster Pack. Spanish. Uh, bear with me. I'm not the greatest at reading and pronouncing Spanish or understanding it, but I can do my best. And I believe this came out in 2003, Wizards of the Coast. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's have a lot of fun and see what it's about. Really shiny booster pack, kind of gold foiling. Legion's on it. Almost looks like the creature from Predator. Got those weird little, like, mandibles coming off of his face. Kind of like a dragon. Big fangs. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this up and have fun with it. Pretty cool to get these older packs. I'm actually getting quite a few... Uh, older packs uh, I'm going to be opening up on this channel so stay tuned for all of those and they will probably all be in English unless I make a mistake again and uh, the first card I get it's a big beast with Amplify 1 it's a 4-4 creature a 5 and a green uh, I'm probably not going to read all the text on this just because I'm going to butcher it <laughs> anyways it just looks like kind of like a mix of a rhino and a goat it's got two horns it's got like two elephant tusks underneath Creepy little face. I wonder how it grazes or eats food with the big tusks in the way. Probably not very well. It needs help putting food in its mouth. Beautiful. And the Legion set symbol obviously right there as well. I know there's like Toxin Sliver in this set and quite a few other slivers as well. So maybe we'll get some slivers. Uh, what is this? Looks like a goblin guy. Sacrifice this guy. Uh, regenerate a creature possibly. It's one in a black and it's a 2-1. Boom, and he's got his cape, it looks like a goblin, he's reaching inside for something, he's got a big smirk on his face, really nice shading in this picture as well. Boom, Jim Nielsen, Wizards of the Coast, Inc. Cool. So bear with me, again, Spanish is not my first language, English is, so yes, this is just a lot of fun and thanks for joining me on this. Uh, this card is, not sure what this is. You got this woman here with her big staff and looks like she's glaring and some energy's coming out of her eyes. Uh, Almost like the guy from X-Men when he takes off his glasses, it just shoots the energy out. One in a white, and uh, it's a 1-3 creature, and when you pay 7 in a white, gain 5 life. Pretty sweet. really like the symbol here. It's like a shield with two, like, pikes crossing it. Kind of reminds me of a skull and crossbones, but not as morbid, I would say. Really beautiful art, by the way. Lovely art. Love the colors. Love the sky. Very ominous. Got the, like, kind of yellow-orange sun. Weird blue energy from the eyes. A lovely shading. Glenn Angus. Got myself, oh, I remember this creature. I don't remember the name of it, but I remember actually pulling it when I was younger. It's got a crazy single tooth on the front. Uh, not sure what happens when it closes its mouth. Does the tooth just stab into his nose? Kind of looks like it. Beautiful art though, like a scale. It's definitely a beast. Beastia. Four and a green. It's a 3-3 three, three creature. Cool. Um, and I'm not really sure what it does, but really look at the art on this. Such amazing art. Everything is so detailed. The shading is so great. I really miss the older art, and that's why I kind of really enjoy opening up older packs because you really get the thrill of opening a pack and not knowing what you're getting, and you get to see some of the really cool older art, and that's just fun for me, and I hope it is for you as well. Got quite a few green cards. Looks like I got some sort of beast, a cat beast. Looks like it looks like a hippopotamus mouth, but on the body of a giant cat, really lengthy legs, got a weird spiky tail, running through the jungle with its hippopotamus teeth, going to get you. Rawr. Three in a green, it's a three two creature with provocar, with provoke I think. I think when, uh, what is provoke? When you attack with this creature, you may tap another creature. I think that's what provoke is. Ooh, look at these beautiful, like look at the borders on these cards, so beautiful, so swirly, love it. Four in a blue. It's a 3-2 creature, and I don't think he's able to block. Looks like he's walking right through this guard right here. I'm pretty sure he's unblockable. 
Interesting. An interesting, like a younger Jace or something like that. Next card I got. Uh, looks like this guy's burning the planes. He's burning planes. He probably can destroy a land or something like that. Two and a red. It's a 2-2 two -two, uh, creature. And he's just burning the fields. It's like Firebender. Beautiful grass. Crazy fire in the background. Lovely vibrant reds and oranges. And some yellows in there too. And he's just burning the field. Next card I got. Uh, four into black. It's a 3-2 uh, with flying. And it's got Mega Morph, I believe. Paid this, or Morph. Uh, put this down for a 2-2 creature for a 3. Flip it up for a 3 and a black. And it's a flying crows. Ave. Cool. Look at these birds flying above the city. Interesting, like, gold stream in the background. A very barren, dark, kind of charcoal-looking land in the back. Beautiful art. Next card I got is a Mist from Drake, I believe. I believe I remember this card. And it has one. It can turn into any type of creature you want. And it also has morph for three. You can put it down for a 2-2 two -two and flip it up for its morph cost. For one and a blue, it becomes a 3-1 with flying. That's awesome. Beautiful art. It's like a cloud creature flying above this interesting island. What a lovely little, like, biome down there. Purple trees. Got some, like, water coming out of these, like, I don't know, like, drainage pipes in there. Doesn't look like sewage. Got little huts in there. Lovely purple trees. And this big old drake just flying above it. Like a nice little happy look on his face. Beautiful art. Dan Orizo. Awesome. And this is, I remember this elf. Uh, you pay a lot of green, and he becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. You pay 7 in a green, he becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a mutant elf, 1 in a green. He's got his sword, and only when you pay money to get his sword, he becomes stronger. He's got the crazy look in his face. He wants to be like Hulk, but he's not as strong. Got green eyes, lovely trees in the background. Lovely trees. Look at the roots on everything. So beautiful. You got this interesting kind of like leaf sword. Chop, chop, chop. Next card I got is... Uh, some sort of clerk or something like that. I'm not really sure. Two and a white. It's a 1-3 creature. Looks like this one guy is tangled up by vines on the ground. And there's this pikeman looking at him. Maybe he's going to help him or maybe he's going to hurt him. It's not sure. Maybe the pike's already into his chest. And this is drawn by Ben Thompson. Beautiful art. Look at like uh, the muscles on this guy's body. Just the shading and everything. It's absolutely beautiful. The sky is lovely. Look at the detail in the grass and the vines. Just beautiful. And really cool armor on this guy. Very wooden like. Very awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. On to the first uncommon. Be cool if I got like a toxin sliver in this set. Be cool if I got like a foil toxin sliver. That would be awesome. This is one in a blue. Interesting creature. It's like these moray eels that are like also like worms that are spraying water out. Very weird. <laughs> it's a 0-5 creature. Um, I think it can't attack. And... I think it's a wall. Interesting wall. Beautiful. Look at the colors on that. Purple and red. And just spitting these water. Very interesting heads. Jeez. It's just like washing up on the beach. Wonderful. Who drew this? John uh, Avon. Beautiful. Put this in the uncommon. Next card I got is an elf. He's got his little elf gang. Reminds me of the aliens from Men in Black. This guy's just like a short little goblin guy. Uh, some nasty teeth picking up a stick and then you got the elf leader in the background just walking around he's carrying all the stuff not sure what this one does very interesting but it has a shirt on four and a green it's a three three creature and uh i'm not sure it gains three life when something happens crazy little green man look at the art on these pictures so beautiful and then the next card i got is a gem palm elf i don't remember the name of it. gem palm it's like a gem palm elf. When you cycle it, um, I think target elves you have get plus two, plus two until end of turn. One in a green, I remember the gem palm incinerator or the gem palm polluter for the zombie deck. When you cycle it, target opponent loses life for each zombie you control, which is really awesome. These cards you mostly want to cycle, but awesome. You can also play it for a two, two for one in a green. He's got his gem palms in him. Beautiful lush green in the background. He's got his quiver of arrows and he's got his little hairdo and beautiful little like gems in them lovely art and then the rare i got is uh not sure it's an elf it's a one in a green elf with a mega or morph and i think when you flip him up for morph 
he gets plus one, plus one, until end of turn or something like that. Or maybe all your elves get that. Looks like he's controlling the insects. The insects are just coming out from the woodworks. He's summoning them all. Looks like a tiny little turtle insect. Weird little eyeball insect. Look at this sad little guy right there. All these flying moths and he's just walking through the forest. Kind of like that Snow White when she's singing. Except these are insects and they're all falling to him. Awesome. And this is one in a green. Anyways... Really fun opening up this pack. This is an old Legions pack from, I believe, 2003. This is a Spanish uh, version, so I don't understand Spanish fully, and I'm not the greatest at reading it, so I don't know what all these cards did. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I know what I did. I love checking out all this old art. It's just so much fun for me. We didn't get a foil, but I had a lot of fun. Definitely remember a lot of these cards when I'm younger. Definitely do with all the art, like these crows, this guy with the, the big, like, tusk. I remember... Uh, this guy as well. I remember quite a few of these honestly even this guy so much fun brings you back to when I was younger Hope you guys enjoyed this just like I did. Thanks for stopping by There'll be more older packs in tune So keep tuned for that and check my channel and hope you all having a wonderful day and I'll catch you all on the next one